So what the turret's gonna be is uh, I already built a fair amount and I'll do a quick explanation. So down here, I have casters that twist for now. On the front, so the two front have um, twisty casters and the back have straight casters. Um, I got the casters just so I could work on it. Um, trying to move around a huge heavy plate like this that is not on wheels is not fun. So I spent like, I don't know, 30 bucks. And you can see how I bolted them in. Just like that. So this is going to be um, the scissor jack. You got this attachment that, you know, makes it go up and down. I can hook a drill up to this and spin it. But these are going to be welded um, underneath on the corners. So just like a uh, piece of machinery, you can level it. So what's going to happen is, is these front wheels are actually going to go. And then what I just showed a video of in a second here is um, I'm going to weld the tongue. So the tongue's going to come out so I can put it on my, my Yamaha Rhino right here to move it around the yard or to put it up on my trailer. So it's going to have a tongue that's going to come out, trailer hitch, reinforced. These casters are going to be gone. It's kind of messy right here, my dump trailer. But um, so the tongue that comes off. So I can buy this piece right here for like 15, 20 bucks. And then what I can do with that is, is um, you'll see the other metal that I have that I showed you earlier that I can use for um stock. So I can, um, you know, on the corners, they're going to be the, the upside down scissor jack drill. So it goes go you use the drill instead of cranking or you can even use the crank for like fine tuning sure but um either way yeah so scissor jacks on each side here facing upside down and then weld on probably not this long obviously the trailer is smaller but what i also want to make sure that is um i can take the the turret and put it on this trailer to um transport it to places which the dimensions are perfect to fit on the trailer and with the tongue shorter yeah so um we'll go back here better so i can um weld up the um upside down scissor jack for proper um stability because tires have air they can bounce i don't want any bouncing so next really quick is um the bearing well this is going to be the telescope Right here. Mead LX D55 EMC. You can look at the stats right here. That's if nobody buys it on eBay. <laughs> I don't know. Six inch achromatic. F12. 100. Well, 1200 millimeters. F8. But I have all the, the optics out of it right now. So we'll put that over here. So there's the seat. So the way how it's gonna work is right here I have a electronic scissor jack. And this is gonna work like a big mouth. So that seat is gonna go womp, 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 up and down with this electronic scissor jack. They have a very nice hand control. So you're going to be able to go up, down, down, up. You know what I mean? So if you picture this, this is your bottom jaw that doesn't move. And this is going to go up and down. Because the next thing is the winch. The way how the winch is going to work. Excuse me for a second. So you see where the winch is facing this way. It's going to be mounted on the tongue that comes to the trailer here. It's going to be mounted sideways because if it's mounted flat, you can't get that turn. So you, you, you mount the winch sideways. And this is on a big bearing that I made. 
to see how this whole thing spins. I know it's on wheels, not jack, so. But, um, giant bearing. The way how it spins, I got a bunch of casters flipped upside down. See those? A lot of them all the way around. Like a, you know, like a, like a carnival when you see the machines. That's how I kind of got the, this design is between a, a carnival and, um, I call it the turret because it's what, like World War One, World War Two guys did. They were sitting on the turret, you know, just shooting. And um, that's how I'm designing this telescope. So you have the race car seat that I got for 40 bucks. So with the tongue sticking out, with the winch spinning it. Oh, yeah, so here's the winch, by the way. It's one ton. And it also has a hand controller. So you're going to be using this thing like a joystick. So the reason why I had, this is a four foot around pulley. It's like an ice cream sandwich. I'm gonna use like a strap belt. It's gonna go around this and it's gonna go around this. I'm taking out the uh, the metal wire. This is gonna be gone. And it's gonna, the adjustment is gonna work similar to a, um, so like a uh, alternator. When you're working on your car and you have your alternator belt, and it has that little curly thing. So you loosen that bolt up and uh, you can tighten, get tension on your belt. Same idea. So um, tension on this giant pulley, which is crazy. This pulley must weigh like, see how it just spins? It's got like a 500 pound Lazy Susan thing built in the center. And then these, and then in order to make it all work, let me just show you how this. Let me move this. Watch. Take out the seat. <laughs> so there's the seat. But so I, I had to drill many holes to get to the center of this. So that's where all the wiring's going to go through. You got to remember. This is 48 inches wide. This is four feet, that bearing. That bearing is huge. You see the hinges? Well, so the way how I'm making the mount for the seat, see all this, this scrap? It's all thick scrap right here. I have a welder. I have a welder and I got some torches. And I have a ton of metal. I've been collecting metal for a really long time. On um, this was off like a like a weight system working out thing. So you see where these hinges are? Those are going bye bye. Um, I'm gonna make my own hinge actually, but I did this for mocking up stuff. And then the only thing that's really gonna be wood is just this giant bearing. The rest is all gonna be welded. Put <laughs> all my welder and crap is all stuffed down in there. It's terrible. But so um. Huge welded seat plank that the uh, this guy right here. So it's a 12 volt. So I'm gonna have a battery mounted on this thing with um, a solar cell deep cycle battery that's gonna run the seat. Push that up and down using scissor jack, the winch. That's going to be turning you left and right. And I, I think I said the reason why I made the bearing so big. Winches turn really slow. I needed a really big bearing to like even slow down the, the spin more. And then I'm going to wire in like a potentiometer with the uh, potentiometer. Then I'll be able to uh, slow down the speed even more like, like, a, like a volume or a tone knob or something, you know. Yeah, so um, what's gonna be fun, I actually get to take this all back apart because the Lazy Susan bearing that I placed in there, there was a way better one that came up for sale and I want it. Um, because when you think about it, if I'm about 200 pounds, you got the seat, you have the whole structure that's built on top of this and then you have um, that's like a 32 pound scope, but the mount, I didn't even talk about the mount yet. 
the mount that's going to hold that scope on here, like a gunner mount, like a turret, like where you, you're sitting in your seat, you're sitting in your seat, but then you're holding the turret, you know, the gun, the telescope. Um, the whole mount that's going to use that, it's going to be like an alt as mount. That's going to be, I, I want to say friction. Um, which I'll, I'll, I'll take a, a picture of that if I can find one. But yeah, so uh, this thing, I'm just giving an update. It's so hot out here, it's ridiculous. Um, just been trying to clean my workshop, so I am pumped because... Honestly, really, if you guys listen to this long, so check it out. Has anybody seen, like, not not the bino, okay, no, no bino viewers, right? I'm not talking about, like, a turret with big binoculars, a turret, a spinning thing with um, bino viewers. I'm talking something that you sit in with a big refractor. I mean, it's, this one, I mean, it's a six inch, so it's fairly good size, where you can sit on it. Because it, it's hard to do with the Newtonian. A Newtonian with the, um, where the eyepiece is, up on top, you can't really get the gunner style. So that, that's why I'm trying to, you know, do it like refractor. So, uh, winch, that, two hand controls, up, down, left, right, sitting in the seat, strapped on with, um, you know, no wheels in the front with the tongue. Scissor jacks pointing down. The manual scissor jack. So I'm not doing all electric. That one right there, that one's electric. This black one is um, manual. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this base. I'm going to weld it to the bottom of this. With um, this right here. So then I can just make the attachment to use a, uh, a power, you know, a hand, you know, 12, 18 volt power drill to, um, jack it up to level it and then have some levelers too you know what i mean um this is not going to be equatorial by any means it's just going to be alt as with the seat in your left right and then also with the telescope will also be alt as you know so all right man i'm done guys any input on the build and like i said this is i got a ton of different metal i like to recycle so most of this has been like recycled stuff or bought very cheap junkyard seat. This was off the gate of my um. So yeah, this right here was the gate. So say that was the trailer. You know the gate that lays down and flips up. This was the gate that flipped up in the back of my trailer, which I hated. Don't need it. So um, the gate, which is like four by four by five, I think. Where's my tape measure? Now I'm asking for too much. Adios.